Ah, oh. <laughs> something about stars promoting engagement. What? Comments sent with 200 stars or more will appear here. What does Comments that even sent mean? with two. What well, stars? what are you talking about? <laughs> Heck. I do not know. However, we appreciate you watching. This is day one of how many? <laughs> Uh, 14. <laughs> Day one of 14, prayer and fasting. Yes. As, <laughs> as we, we embark upon, what, 14, 14 days. It is definitely 14 days. That's right. Um, it yeah, is, prayer and fasting. It, Day one. I don't have plans to go for longer. Do you want to... No. You're going to announce some plans oh to go gosh. longer than 14? No, like... Here, life? I had an exemption from this prayer and fasting thing for quite a few years being pregnant or breastfeeding at different times and um basically lou kept getting pregnant so that she wouldn't have to because i did that all by myself <laughs> uh. um anyway so i've been like ah oh, but i know it'll be i know it'll be good and so that gets me through we're going to be doing doing it as a church but of course like i'm talking about there's exemptions like you don't have to do it. It's not compulsory, obviously. Um, but so don't don't do it if you're pregnant or yeah, breastfeeding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exemptions basically. include yeah, pregnancy, breastfeeding, over seventy. You know, medical issues. What else? Um, operating heavy machinery. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, so be wise. Heavy, heavy labor. And you can have. Um, you can do Sneaky like... Sneaky watching from the multi multimedia desk the with multi Karen. The multimedia desk. Great to have you there, Karen. Thank I you. I don't... I don't can you stop scrolling that? It's so distracting. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, sorry. Anyway. We're just exemptions learning. Exemptions and... Stop. Sorry. Stop. You're still doing it. No, I'm trying to work it out so that we can see your comments live. I'm actually... Oh, it is I, live. It came up there. It did come up there, but I have my concerns. I have a good so. idea. Why don't we keep arguing on social media instead of talking about That's, prayer and fasting? <laughs> okay. It's All right. No, idea. we're definitely live now. So we are, is that Knox there and hey, a couple of others? Nice. God bless you, Knox. It's awesome. I almost feel like apologizing for our lengthy absence to Facebook Live. Um, there were things. They've changed a lot of things on us, obviously, but yes. that's all right. We'll roll with the punches. Yes, so day one, we day just, one. yeah, and fasting, we just started, but yeah, going to, you know, like if I can just say, if you can't do full fast, um, try just doing like one meal that you fast and then instead of just being like a hunger strike against God, it's I'll pray instead of eating um, during that meal. That's right. Um, take it. Take it like that. Like, it's not like, oh, I'm just not going to eat and then that's, I'm going to be super holy. That's not what prayer and fasting is. Prayer and fasting. Right. Not Don't just... leave out the prayer part. That's right. And so if you can't do that, maybe you can do six till six. You can do something. Everyone can do something where you put aside time instead of engaging in the flesh and nom nom nomming, you can put that into prayer. Yes. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. That's awesome. That's so good. <laughs> You've got more to say, obviously. Well, yeah, Water. you know, I'm, mm. yeah, and sparkling. That's amazing. Make sure you drink plenty of water as well. Now that we're kind of responsible for and publicly doing this as a church, it kind of changes it a little. You know, we <laughs> when you just do it yourself. We used to just do it. Yeah, Louise and myself would pray and fast for the first part of the year. Um, Our preteen son, only just preteen two weeks to go it's like i'm fasting he wants to my year i'm fasting we're like no you're not get no. out of here what are, you, what are you doing feast if you're under 18 that's feast. right that's another one of the you exemptions it. It don't is. make your children fast <laughs> that's child abuse <laughs> that's right so we don't endorse we any do of that no. so have you got yeah which one first kings first? oh yeah. let's first kings nlt okay. 19. all right here we go this is the first scripture because we want to start in the Word. Stay in the Word and then end in the Word? Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll make um, too. So First Kings 19, when Ahab got home, he told Jezebel everything Elijah had done, including the way he had killed all the prophets of Baal. So Jezebel sent this message to Elijah, May the gods strike me and even kill me by this time tomorrow, or if by this time tomorrow I have not killed you just as you killed them. 
Elijah was afraid and fled for his life. He went to Beersheba, a town in Judah, and he left his servant there. Then he went alone into the wilderness and travel, traveling all day. He sat down under a solitary broom tree and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life, for I am no better than my ancestors who have already died. Um, then he lay down and slept under the broom tree. But as he was sleeping, an angel touched him and told him, get up and eat. He looked around and there beside his head. This is a good head, start for prayer and fasting. Go on. <laughs> he looked around and there beside his head was some bread baked on hot stones and a jar of water. So he ate and drank and lay down again. Then the angel of the Lord came again and touched him and said, get up and eat some more or or the journey ahead will be too much for you. Right. So he got up and ate and drank, and the food gave him enough strength to travel 40 days and 40 nights to Mount Sinai, the mountain of God. Right. There we go. That's that's it. So was that verse 9? No, Get, that was verse 8. What's 8 say in New King James? Um, so he arose and ate and drank, and he went in, in the strength of that food 40 days and 40 nights as far as Horeb, the mountain of God. So Elijah is depressed he eats this food that the angels bring him and then goes on the strength of that food for 40 and travels on the strength of that meal for 40 days and 40 nights yeah what kind of meal is this it's a supernatural meal right the first thing about prayer and fasting is fasting strengthens you Mm. now that's in a sense sounds ridiculous but Fasting strengthens you. Fasting strengthens your spirit. Elijah was in a very bad, depressed place, wanting to die. Then he... (laughs) Just lie down and take a nap and have something to eat. (laughs) That's all he needed. But (laughs) he needed that spiritual meal. Mm. See, fasting is when you put off the flesh. You put off the desire to indulge in the carnality of feeding your flesh and you... Strengthen your spirit. Right. Your flesh gets weaker, but your spirit becomes stronger during right. these times. And off of the strength of that meal, Elijah went for 40 days and 40 nights. That's awesome. And I think that, just turn to the next scripture, sure. but I think that the beginning of the year is a great time to do an extended fast like this because we are planning to run on the strength of this fast for a long time, a while, the year, a little while. It sets <laughs> yourself up. It, it gives you strength. Yeah. Fasting strengthens your spirit as you put your spirit in the driver's seat. It's the best way to break off the, um, the, any addictions, any unwanted tendencies of the flesh. Fasting is an ideal time because it, Add spiritual power to your your resolve, your decisions that you're making of how you want to change things. Hey, Ange, great to see you. Oh, and Ben, ben says hello hey too. Guys. Is Ben uh, still doing that um, the thing? Oh, was it Aussie? No, Bogan something. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. But that was great. That's was great good. quality. Next you scripture. Want me to read this? Okay. Fasting produces strength on the same scripture. Okay, Luke. Oh, different scripture. Luke 4. Okay. Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted 40 days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing. And afterward, when That's they. That's had... called fasting. He ate nothing. Actually, hang on. Okay. I'll make a point. Caveat that. here. Fasting isn't not watching Facebook for right. 40 days. Fasting means, it's the Hebrew word som, T-S-O-M. It means to cover the mouth. It's talking about not eating. That's right. So it's not talking about, you. oh, I'm going to fast TV. Yeah, well done. Does that mean everyone that lived pre-television's invention fasted their entire life? No. Yeah. Well, I'm going to do a Daniel fast. Okay, but are you going to put weight on during that fast and buy 16 different Daniel fast books from Kurong that teach you how to cook up a storm? If you're no, gaining weight over the fast, it's probably, it's not, good, but it's, probably if, not putting the flesh off very much at all. And if your thoughts are being considered, amen. <laughs> um, if your thoughts, sorry, the phone's trying to fast fall Fast the dead, hello. Um, if your thoughts are being consumed by what's my next Daniel Fast meal going to be, then I think we're missing the point. <laughs> That's right. So really, you know, just keeping it simple. 
you know, fasting means abstaining for, from food. Right. It's, um, we like to try and, the flesh would like to try and get around that somehow. It's true. Because eating food is the flesh's most strong desire. Yeah. But with that comes, if you can take dominion over that desire, then you can beat every other desire as well. That's right. So that's good news. That's good news. That, that is good news, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. No, taking dominion over your flesh, flesh is huge. Um, yeah, like being able, like <laughs> as a parent, I developed a bit of a bad habit in that, you know, you're running all day and so you fly past the cupboard and you're like, I'll just have that chocolate bar. <laughs> it's gone. No, no, no. But it's like. Can't do that anymore. That's right. But even that can develop into a carnal, like, I have to get to the cupboard. It's called gluttony, Lou. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> darling. I have to get to the cupboard to stuff my face full of this chocolate just so that I can, you know, can because it, it gives you that hit of um, what, am I like endorphins? Does chocolate give you probably. endorphins? It's probably signed. I know. It. Put it in the comment but, what it gives um, you. But it's like that hit of sugar. That It's like a drug. People can, like, I'm not speaking about myself. A little bit. But, um, like, it's it can take over your entire, like, life. And then, you know, you're just slugging down these things to... Uh, to me, it is like drugs. You can't... If you can't, like, have authority over those chocolate bar slammers that you're walking past the cupboard, you know, every five minutes to get, then, you know, you, you're not going to be able to overcome anything else. Like, you have to be able to take control of that. Shout out to Abby Dodds for the gift of the chocolate bar box. They are all gone. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the chocolate I'm talking about. <laughs> Abby bought me these peanut um, buttercup style chocolate bars. That are like So we're talking lost. about this. <laughs> I'm hungry. It's not a good time. It's not a good time. That was please, good. Please. I made sure I eat, ate them all before the fast so that I wasn't tempted. Anyway, right. please continue after my random not, not helpful little <laughs> rant. Jesus fasted, we, and we followed Jesus' example. That's right. Moses fasted, Elijah fasted, Jesus fasted, and Jesus said, when you fast. So don't look at me with your still photo up the top right corner <laughs> like it's some strange thing that we're fasting. It was as, Jesus assumed that his, those that would follow him later would fast. That's, That's why right. he said, when you fast. That's right. So when the bridegroom's taken away from them, they will fast. Yes, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. So turning to the example of where Jesus is fasting, fasting produces strength. Right. So you stopped me at, do you want, where do you want me oh, to wherever go? Wherever you. So he went into the wilderness being tempted for 40 days by the devil. And, those days, and in those days he ate nothing. And afterward, when they had ended, he was hungry. And the devil said to him, if you are the son of God, command these stones to become bread. But Jesus answered him saying, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Amen. That's it. The devil tempted him. He was not eating. He had strength to overcome that temptation. He had strength. And then when the temptation came, he said, man doesn't live by bread alone. Man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. When God, when you begin to eat, spiritually that produces strength and then after jesus had finished fasting what does it say in verse 14 14 then jesus returned in the power of the spirit to galilee and the news of him went out through all the surrounding region there you go there it is when jesus had f returned returned in the power of the spirit that's right to galilee then noise about him was shed abroad but that's that, right he came so back in power he came back in power he went into the wilderness, he didn't eat, and he came back in power. Why? Fasting produces power. Fasting produces strength. It's almost counterintuitive to think that if I'm going to not eat for a period of time, how is that going to make me strong? Well, it won't physically, but it will spiritually. What was that analogy you were telling us about with the albatrosses? Because it's not like you're fasting to earn spiritual power because I can hear people saying, maybe not these beautiful faces in the corner already, but I can hear people saying, all oh, the way he says it makes it sound like you have to earn the gifts of the spirit. Yeah, there's always this strange 
uh, in a sense, a strange balance between work and and grace. Right. And so the illustration that came to me basically was that on the South Island of New Zealand, there's a an albatross colony. It's the only mainland albatross colony in the world, allegedly. So we were told anyway, or read. <laughs> anyway, we visited this in circa 2000 and... Maybe nine? I don't know. Yeah. 2010, we'll say. No, not at all. Anyway. 2008 or nine. Anyway, we visited it. It was great. It was spectacular. But you would notice these albatross are sitting on the edge of the cliff and all they need to do is just stretch out their wings and basically just fall off the cliff and they just soar because of the wind that is coming up from that cliff. Yeah. Fasting is like stretching out your wings and leaning forward. And the Holy Spirit, the wind of God, comes underneath you and produces the power. That's right. So fasting is positioning yourself like the albatross in the right place to be able to receive God's strength. That's right. What does it say? Isaiah 40, 31. Those that wait upon the Lord shall, rise shall receive strength. Those Is that, that wait one? upon the Lord. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go for it. 40 what? 40, 30. Just read from 40 verse 30. 30 or 31. It's okay. all in there. Yeah, 31. Even youths. Go on. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew rewind, this. Rewind, rewind. Um. He gives power to the weak. He gives power to the weak. And Good to, one. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Wow. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fail, fall. Right. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Those who wait upon the Lord shall mount up with wings as eagles. They yep. will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. That's right. Fasting and prayer is a time of waiting on the Lord where you receive spiritual strength. Yeah. It's his strength. You can't earn it. Jesus made the strength available, but you sure can position yourself in a place where you receive it. That's right. And that place Jesus expected his followers to position themselves in is called prayer and fasting. Yeah. So... I hope you enjoyed that. Fasting produces strength. Fasting produces power. Be like Elijah. Run off the strength of food that belongs oh, to say angels. Uh, say hey, uh. man. How you going? Good to see you. Aussie fam. Yeah, I met Aussie fam. in um, America. Ah, right. Yes. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Fasting produces strength. Spiritual strength. Yes. And Physical training is of some value, but spiritual training, training in godliness is profitable for all things, for this yeah. life and the life to come. Yeah. So we're excited as we embark. Well, some of us are anyway. <laughs> yes, I am excited. No, it's, it is awesome. We're excited to go on this adventure together as a church for the first year in 2024, and then we'll be doing it in subsequent years from now mm -hmm. you know you can pretty much mark this in your calendar as a regular thing every don't year don't plan anything in january <laughs> <laughs> we, we might perfect the dates we might tweak the dates we tried to wait until people were kind of back from their new year's celebration so that people were around a little bit yeah but it's such a great way to start the year for sure so we're so pleased to have you with us starting the year in this way We'll believe the Lord with you for breakthrough. Yes. For what? And if you want to, um, this this is on Breakthrough Center. Yeah. yeah, this is on Breakthrough Center Facebook as well. If you want to give to Breakthrough Center, you can do that. Just give it a Google Breakthrough Center. Give it a Google. Probably dot com dot au. It's dot com. Dot com dot au, and you can find give there. If you want to give, you can do that, and. That will be wonderful. Otherwise, we love you and we'll see you tomorrow and every day, actually, at 5.30 p.m. For the next 14 days. For the next 14 days. We won't always be here. I don't even... The landscape will change. <laughs> That's right. We're not sure where we're going to be for the next... You like to keep at it At 5.30, secret. exactly. So, But we'll be on here. Yeah. That's, that's what we're committing to, so...
Good. That'll be fun. So you can't like actually fast social media and be a part of this. So actually do a legit fast. <laughs> also, the uh, these will be re-uploaded to, to YouTube as well if you want to follow. Follow us on YouTube. Give us a subscribe, a like, share, and that'd be awesome. All right. Very good. Well, you know, pray. Sure, you want me to pray? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Father, thank you for these days that um, we've put aside. and Thank you that you have ordained it in your word to, to fast and to pray. Thank you that when we do, we link in with you, that it's not something that we're doing to twist your arm, Father, but that you've put this in the word so that we can actually hook up with what you're doing and, and you get behind us spiritually. Yeah. Um, so thank you, Lord, that it breaks, breaks bondages, breaks things that are trying to hold us back like it did when Daniel was praying and he fasted and then the answer came, not because you were withholding it, Father, but because there was stuff trying to hold it up. So as we pray and fast, we put ourselves closer in the will, into the will of God, closer into a part where you can really move on our behalf. Yeah. So we thank you for that. And we ask for you to bless everyone that's watching and participating, for you to help them and strengthen them. Lord, give them wisdom in, in how much to fast and what to fast and, and speak to them during this time. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Bless your precious people. Yes, Give Lord. them strength. Receive strength right now. Mm. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Awesome. All right. Well, we love you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right? That's right. Who's okay. going to reach their hand out and push the finish button? I don't want it to be me. Oh, sure not. All right. <laughs> see you. <ya. laughs> Bye.